Uh, here's how Tesla's new touchscreen drive selector works. So I don't know if you heard Elon Musk talking about how the next generation Model S, Model X, you won't even shift your vehicle into reverse to pull out of a parking spot. Did you hear about this? No. Yeah, so there will be no gear selector. If you saw the interior of the new Model S. Oh, okay. There's no way... No handle. It's no like, how do I do this? Yeah, no. You just, just stuck in the parking lot. You just get in and start driving. Huh. You just get in and press so, press on the gas. So it would know whether to reverse or go forward. How would it know that, Will? <clears throat> AI. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, a bunch of cameras and sensors. Sure. And also, uh, uh, map data, GPS, like, where are you right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that a building in front of you? Yeah. Uh, uh, have you been here before? Is this your driveway? What do you normally do? Anyway, so you're supposed to just get in and trust the car to know which way to go. Now, I know that makes people very nervous, but that's how it's going to work. Uh, I think the last time Elon Musk was on Rogan's podcast, Rogan was asking him, like, well, what if I want to override it? Well, now we have our first glimpse at how you override it or uh, select manually. And it's on the touchscreen. And there's actually a video clip if you scroll down. So on the left-hand side of the touchscreen, you grab this little car and yank it in whichever direction. So you yank it down or push it up for reverse and forward if you need to override the automatic system. Hmm. But it's one of those things, man. It's going to take a while to get used to it. Or it's going to be super intuitive. And then people will just pick it up. Absolutely. No, no, yeah. I agree. I agree that that's the more likely thing to happen. Yeah. Uh, but it's just a learning curve in, in a sense that. I mean, you have the whole UI like on the screen, not a lot of buttons or dials. No, the, the drive selector so, was one of the few things that have been maintained right, and right. held over from more traditional automobiles. Yeah. So, I mean, in this car over here, you have a button. No, you have a little selector. You have a power button, and then you have a little selector. So it still feels like a traditional car. And the mm. selector is actually similar to what they use in the gas vehicles, like the 911 and stuff, it, except they just relocated it. So it's beside the steering wheel over here, as opposed to down where you would normally have it uh. with a car with a transmission, typical transmission. This car actually has a transmission. Anyway. Does the Taycan have an app? Yeah, it has an app. It does? Yeah. Don't you remember the video, Will? No, I didn't really watch it. Hey, man. <laughs> I watched half of it. Hey, man. Only yeah. the beauty shots. Actually, it's like, it's actually a pretty long video for is, as far yeah. as we, as far as we go. It might have been like 22 minutes or something. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot going on, man. Cars are tech now. So you never know what you're going to, what you're going to find in there. Look at that. That's a cool shot. That opening shot. Whoa. And we got the blanket on the car. Beautiful. Damn. That's a real moment when, you, when the car's covered in the blanket. Yeah. And then it's pulled off. Not CG. There should be an entire YouTube channel where this is all that happens. Uh-huh. That's it. Music or no music? I don't know. That's cool. The car hasn't been that clean in a long time. Look how <laughs> clean it is right there. Damn. Anyway, okay. Holy sidetrack. Uh, Tesla's going to... We're not going to use the drive selector anymore. That's, mm. that's the bottom line. Right. You can override on the touchscreen, but we're not going to use it anymore. We're going to think... And eventually, in the future, we'll think it's dumb. And mm -hmm. Until things break, and then you're like, wait, I need some buttons. And yeah. Analog. Dials and yeah. whatever else. 